Well, we like to keep it pretty positive on this channel, but it totally feels like Sony is doubling down on bad ideas. We recently got a bit of a plot leak for Venom The Last Dance, and honestly, this does not sound like a great idea. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about this plot leak, that means potential spoilers, and where Sony appears to be going with this film. Please tell me it's not tied to Madam Web. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, it was recently confirmed that Venom The Last Dance will be the final movie in that particular franchise from Sony. This could be for a lot of reasons. Many believe Tom Hardy is ready to move on from the role, but it appears Marvel Studios might also have some plans for the symbiote, and that might be why Sony is putting it up on the shelf. In any case, after two fairly successful films, Sony no doubt has some high hopes to end this trilogy and hopefully make a good amount of money. Now, the movie mostly remains shrouded in secrecy, but a newly surfaced plot leak for the film has been gaining some traction on social media, and quite honestly, it sounds so bad it's probably true given this is from Sony. Yeah, we're going negative on this one. Now, before we jump into the plot leak, remember, this could be spoiler territory, so we don't want to ruin the film for anyone, but some of these ideas sound completely like stuff Sony would do, and I'm really not too sure where this is going. Now, what we are hearing is that when Venom returns to our world, well, he sets out to find Peter Parker. Now, what he's trying to do is avoid the fate of many of his multiverse variants, who died at the hands of Spider-Man. However, when he finally finds Peter, it's not what he's expecting, because he's 10 years old. Now, according to the plot leak, Eddie bonds with this kid and decides not to kill him. However, he soon finds himself battling Toxin, the jury, and a whole new group of symbiotes, with some of them going directly after Parker. Now, according to this leak, Juno Temple supposedly plays Lieutenant Patricia Robinson, with Chiatel Ejiofor taking on the role of Orwell Taylor, something we have heard for a really long time. Now, just like in the comics, what's being reported is Orwell Taylor's son was killed by carnage, and that's what's driven him to create, quote, the jury and develop weaponized techniques to take down symbiotes. Now, at this point, I'm not totally convinced this plot leak absolutely is the real deal. But remember, the stories for both the other Venoms leaked online as well. Now, also keep in mind, this could be from a various point in production, and we've often seen some of these leak give details, but then turn out to be variations or something that was altered in production. Now, the thing that has my mind blown here, though, is the 10-year-old Peter Parker, because I have some fears. I am deeply worried that this character could be the same variant that we met in Madam Web and an attempt by Sony to tie these movies together. Now honestly, I know I've been bashing pretty hard on Sony in this video, but given their recent track record and some of their ideas, well, this definitely sounds like something they would do and definitely something not well received by fans. Now, we do know the film is going to finally come our way on October the 25th, with Craven coming by the end of the year, and honestly, we've said this multiple times, if Sony flubs these two films, they might be in serious trouble when it comes to their Marvel material, and with the pending merger with Paramount, well, a lot could change, and Sony could fall over the edge of not doing Marvel movies at all. I still hope the movie turns out to be great. I'm definitely not bashing on Tom Hardy's version of the character, but this totally sounds like a horrible idea, and right in line with a whole series of bad ideas starting with Morbius and leading up to this day. If this turns out to be true, well, we're gonna have to wait and see.